We're gonna start today's video off with working on Tim Civic. Well, actually, looks like we're getting ice cream first. What'd you get? Lime fruit bar, dude. Ice cream. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go, man. How much? Two? Yeah. Thank you. The plan of attack for today is to replace the suspension. I wouldn't even call them coilovers. Would you call these coilovers in the back? I mean, they're. Yeah, I guess you're right. They're they're technically not. I have a divorce set up from the factory, so there's a spring bucket and a damper. And because they're divorced, like like I said, they kind of uh, work independently of one another. Let's see what it looks like. So this is what he means. We've got the spring separate from the shock. What we plan on doing today is installing a new set of stance coils. Brand new. And they've been uh, valved and custom, uh, like custom valved and spring rated for my vehicle and this is what we will be converting to today wow this so is beautiful this goes in the top of the shock tower how or the shock tower is not a shock but the damper yes yeah. and then the uh the bottom will be this wow. and we're gonna delete that spring completely so dude i bet it's gonna handle so much better look at how much these bc coils bounce or bc springs <laughs> You can hear it creaking too. <laughs> yeah, the creak is something with my sway bar actually. But oh. Yeah, the That's car hard. is just way too loose. And yeah. I drive this thing on the racetrack and- He tracks this thing, this is a track car. And he has the track stickers to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> the stickers prove it for sure. <laughs> but no, it's uh, it's definitely a little bit too loose for me right now, so. Let's tighten things up. We're gonna start with the rear and work our way to the front. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the front's easier, That's that was our thought. One hand, don't care. <laughs> Man's got his priorities with the ice cream. Dude. Ah, RG3s. I love these wheels. All right, let's see what we're working with here. So the spring, you can usually just pull out. We're gonna do that once we disconnect the shock from the, what is this, the trailing arm? Yeah, it looks like the trailing arm slash lower control arm. So it's really just this one 14 millimeter bolt. Just like that, we're already halfway done. By the way, all new OEM hardware. Oh, stop. Perks dude. of working at Honda. That's so <laughs> true. I love working for a company that I can buy stuff from and use. Yes. But yeah. Good products. Good products. OEM is best. And employee discount, baby. So you do have to take off an additional arm to get the springs out. Some cars, when they're separate like this, you can just yank the spring out when you jack it up. It's kind of crazy. Weight reduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look how this weird collar adjusts height. And this just sits and kind of wedges on your lower control arm. Right. And I'll hear it a lot of times, even if I unload the suspension a lot. It just clunks a, or what? It'll clunk and set back down. Or if I jack the car up and put mm -hmm. it back down after an oil change, yeah. <laughs> joink. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's just not proper. Yeah, no. Not good for performance. Yes. Good for daily driving. Not good for And track. the Acura RSX, which is basically the sister of this car, um, has a true rear suspension. <laughs> so they just decided not to do it on this chassis. Whack. We're gonna correct that today though, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't realize there's a little heat shield on this control arm. How nifty. All right, looks like this is the nut we have to remove for the top. Just take that off without holding anything. Yep. All right, BC delete. And it's not that there's anything really wrong with BC. It's good for daily driving, but for performance, yeah, that, that's not really what you want to be running. Not at all. And the spring rate is uh, really improper. I have 6K front and rear for BC. <laughs> 6K all around on all BC? All around. And I mean, obviously it's front wheel drive. You got more weight in the front. There's like things to account for with handling. And BC obviously was just kind of like, hey, let's throw something together to lower the car. And make, make it comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And it is. It's but comfortable. Performance, this is a 12K front and a 9K <laughs> rear. Oh my gosh. And dude. one piece for 9K with the big sway bar that I have, this rear spring rate will actually increase as you drive. So a big sway bar increases load on each side left to right and will actually bring 
your spring rate up. So 9K <laughs> is what it is now, but it would be under a load. <laughs> this way bar. Yeah. yeah, under load, this thing is gonna be awesome. Dude, it's so good. I love stands. Yes. And for those is of you who don't know, we also installed stands on the Z recently. I have stance coils on my 240, stance coils on my Integra sedan. So all around good stuff. Another noticeable quality gain with the stance coils is how much heavier they are. Now, yes, I'm not picking up all of it at once, but this is all very light and thin. You can even just see the diameter difference between the two. And as well as how this is a solid rod here, it's not hollowed out. They actually have the dampening adjustment on the bottom, and that is to prevent hollowing out these rods for premature failure, or it'll even be prone to bending under high load and stress. You can see how thin these are. They're almost thinner than OEM. You always want to go bigger than OEM with performance. So we've just set these collars to be at the same height. Now this is not really the correct way to adjust ride height evenly. Tim is planning on going to get a corner balance and alignment once everything is on the car and settled because you want to make sure that the springs settle for a couple days. Otherwise it's not going to be accurate because springs tend to lower once they break in. Same with the shocks. So for now we're just going to mount them on the car, see how the car looks and make sure it is actually drivable. We can always make adjustments once it's on the car, of course, but that should be it. Such an easy install, just two bolts. It's insane. Oh, pop the bushing out. That's good. Perfect. Now, since this is a Honda, we're going to grease our suspension hardware because they're known to rust away and become one with the bushing. And then you have to grind it off, cut it off, you name it. So. Yeah, you'll get that on these big jobs. <laughs> so we just grease the inside there. Not greasing the threads. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't have the correct hardware to use for this bolt in particular, but we do have the correct bolt for the other arm that we had to take off. This one's still new. Fresh. And I don't usually like to impact bolts on right away. I like to install everything nice and loosely, make sure it all fits correctly, and then crank it down. <laughs> now, since we have the suspension loaded already, we can go ahead and tighten everything. Because if you tighten everything with the suspension fully drooped, when you lower the car down on the ground, it's gonna prematurely fail your rubber bushing. So. Make sure you load your stuff before you crank it. Last but not least. Oh, you're not a 14 anymore. All right. I'm curious to see how your wheels are gonna fit on first try. <laughs> I already like this right here used to easily sit probably down there. Really? The droop from this suspension was incredible, but yeah. Awesome. This will, this will be good. Let's slap them on. Ooh, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna wanna lower that another inch. Definitely, 1,000%. <laughs> we can, we can wait to do it now. You wanna do it now? Yeah. All right, let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to lower it, loosen this top locking collar. And we spin these threads up. We want to put more threads into this piece here. These lug nuts are cool because they have little washers on the bottom that'll spin. That way you're not really grooving up the base of your wheel. Pretty nice. No, we'll probably do So now we have our suspension with no separated rear spring here. This looks a lot more legit. And to adjust our dampening, it is now on the bottom on this little tab here. And again, that's just so they didn't hollow out the top for strength. All right, set her down. Perfect. It'll settle a lot more, so it'll probably drop another half inch to an inch. An inch. I like being low. Low boy. Oh, I can't wait for the test drive. All right, let's knock out yeah, the front. so high. A lot of dead bugs, some of the same gas tank and everything from final bout. Man, straight from final bout to final upgrade. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Very excited for my next day driving this car. Oh man, we gotta pop all this off. 
get access to these in here. That's I don't know, I've seen people get access like this. Yeah, we could do it from here. New calipers, who this? Yeah, looking good, man. All right, looks like we have one, oh, two bolts on the bottom here, and then three on the top. We got the coil disconnected from the knuckle, brake line mount disconnected. Now we'll start working on getting these top mounts off. Now the cool thing about this chassis is you can pop off this little tab and you can gain access to going straight down and getting that bolt or that nut that's all the way in the back. Pretty cool. Nice little feature. Thanks Honda. That's a fun spot to get to. There it is. Crusty dusty. Crusty dusty. We will compare these to the new Johns in one moment. There she goes. The second one is out. Oh, these are heavy compared to the other ones. Yeah, I told you they're gonna be heavier. heavier. They're actually thick metal. Yeah, the center of these is like. Look at how thick that is. Let's yeah. compare. Let's compare. These things are no joke. Yeah. Yeah, build, build. Oh my <laughs> God. I didn't know those were that small. Yeah, man. How light is this that? This is genuinely 10 to 15 pounds lighter. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Well, now we can at least get a good idea of how low to make your top hat yes. or to make your collar on this one. But the problem is the spring where the collar sits there and look where it bolts on this. Oh yeah. And look where the collar is on there and we'll look where it bolts on that. We'll so have, we have to, to measure, measure from here to here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's already quite close. It is quite close. This needs to go higher up. Yeah. But I will go lower on this set. Now. Oh, dirt nasty <laughs> low. <laughs> we matched out the length on each coilover. They're about the same now. And another thing is the spring rate has doubled. The BC coils have 6k and the stance coils have 12k 200 millimeters these coils are pre-loaded and ready to rock tim is installing that side i'm gonna install this side can't wait to see how it looks and drives he's gonna be three wheeling around the block now just watch reattach our brake line ready to get a good test fit on the ground looks like the front is already sitting better than the rear wait so if you guys have a eighth gen civic and are looking for some coils hit up launch air racer on instagram and invest in some stance coil overs yes <laughs> if you need something for the meantime we'll be selling these bcs in a stance box Oh, dude, we're looking good. Actually, that's not bad. See, it's already settling a little bit. I would say just give it a day. Oh, at least. this side's monster truck, though. It'll be all right. We'll, we'll, I'll drive it for a day and then make adjustments. Well, let's take it around the block, dude. Sure. I feel like the car hasn't even rolled yet. Yeah. <laughs> the tires could be pushing it out even. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna pull up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Almost took my fingers off, dude. <laughs> there you go. Let me clear the blocks. My little RB clutch. All right. Dude, this looks so good. The front's definitely lower, I'll oh tell you that much. Oh my God, just that bump I felt. <laughs> Definitely lower than before. The Tim machine. We bought this at Final Bout. His name is Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis the Curd. Great. Most supplies. How's the steering wheel? Dude, what? Not bad. It is not straight, but it's not bad. Manageable. It's slightly right now. That's okay, it. okay. I mean, you have your corner balance set up anyway, so. Yes, corner balance and alignment is something that many, many, many people overlook, definitely. As you set the height, it affects 
what weight is actually being planted on each corner. So you may be actually pushing mm. over onto one back corner of your suspension without knowing it, because everyone eyeballs their suspension, you know? Dude, this is not bad. Dude, that was good. Speed bump test was successful. It's daily drivable. It is my daily driver, so it better be, right? Yeah, right? This feels good. Ah, so good to be back in stand suspension. Oh, this feels great. It's, it feels planted, right? Like, responsive. I can't wait to do some driving. Some yeet. Dude, steering's more direct. Like, even there, I promise you, when turning in neighborhoods, it was loose enough to where the car would kind of rotate. Oh, really? And the reason for that, I think, is the droop that we were talking about, where the wheels used to bolt on super low, and then as you put the car on the ground, it would suck up into the chassis. Right, And now right. with the new suspension, you have to put the wheel up into the chassis already, so there's less droop, and that will affect your left and right handling, I feel, in a big way. Definitely. Very nice. Plus the spring rate increase. Yeah, this thing's way more planted to the ground. Oh yeah. Where's a good place to yeah. just go like right and then come on the road and come back? Yeah, sure. Right. I thought 12k front would be something I really noticed. Maybe just not yet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, these roads haven't been too bad yet. But we'll see. told me about that too they said your car might even feel like it's got a more pickup because there's less when you accelerate your suspension doesn't pick up your load right it's not just settling back all the way and it used to like i mean you saw in the beginning of the video we're pushing <laughs> yeah. down that oh we gotta do a push down test after this <laughs> i'm excited i'm very excited <laughs> a jounce test <laughs> Because of the droop in the rear suspension, it was probably only picked up like a, a an inch, oh. not even, right? Just a little bit off the ground, and the whole front end was just tucking. My tire was up in my fender liner like <laughs> all the way. Damn. So this is man, this is gonna transform the car. Yeah, night and day difference. Brakes did that. Uh, tune did that. Uh, exhaust intake tune. That was a huge change. Suspension. That was the next biggest change for. Dude, so planted. Let's do a big one. <laughs> Manji. <laughs> wow. Wow. The steering is much more direct. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, put it here. Dude, good stuff. We knocked that out in like two hours, was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's been like 100 degrees plus out here. I don't mm -hmm. know if you can tell, but we're sweating. We were at Final Bow all weekend. Yeah. But... This is what we do for vehicles. Make them better. Make them better. 12K is much softer than I thought it would be. I was psyching myself out that it was gonna be like a much... Hockey pucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like the dampening has a lot to do with that as well. Yes. These are just better. Yeah, simply These are put. Just better. <laughs> and this is not even sponsored by them, so I can give my honest opinion. Truly. Truly. And like, yeah, just knowing their quality and uh, the gentleman that puts them together. Shout out Dave. Yes, <laughs> TF Dave, he knows his stuff. All right, let's check the ride fitment after right around the block. Oh man, I'm lower in the front. Dude, that's not bad. It could definitely go lower in the rear, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty. But the front looks front good. Break, the front is spicy. The front is spicy, I needed that. Like, that little gap is what was missing. It used to be just a little too tall here. Don't look at that. I'm getting a new fender. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'll probably spin it a couple rotations. Yeah, get that lower. But overall, man. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, let's get a jounce test in the back. You want to slam them? Slam these right now? Ratings. I don't know about. Them. Well, yeah, we could lower them a little right now, but. Oh my god. Dude, way more responsive. Fuck. And before it was creaking. Yeah. No, no creak. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
It's so much stiffer. It's not even my car anymore. We're making a quick pit stop on our way to Mexico. We're gonna go find some back roads and a closed course and get some professional stunts pulled off. But Nico's actuator on his SR20 T28 is no longer working. So basically the engine's putting out no boost. So we gotta replace that first at a friend's house. Yeah, it's missing right now. Two bolts down there. It you know, opens and closes this door. Actually, the main feature of the green that I thought was really it. funny. Oh. Old. Yeah. And like how he does, it's crazy. We'll have full conversation, and he'll stand and he'll stay like one <laughs> with three glasses on. Just like make Straight eye contact. contact. Yeah, Hello. It's crazy. <laughs> got called on us but luckily they're very nice they're like it's not really a place you guys can go anymore to have fun without endangering anyone and it's not that they thought we were endangering anyone it's just that someone called so they have to do something about it and basically all they wanted us to do is get the cars off the street so we're just parking them up they said they'll leave and then we can go back to our activities so nice pair of cops you don't get that too often so we definitely locked out and we'll probably stay for a little bit longer <laughs> now we have to make it look like we're uh, working on something he said. Perfect. Yeah. Can you the blow off valve on it because it blow up, you know? Yeah, dude, we're changing your blow off valve. Where's your yeah. blow off valve, man? Um, <laughs> that's a good question, actually. Where is it? <laughs> Thank you. That was the best pair of cops I've ever come across. Those guys are awesome, to be honest. <laughs> He's like, hope you guys fix your car. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, I, mean, I feel like they're just like us for Dude, real. I'm, I'm telling you, if we would have been in the Bay Area, we would have been in jail already. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Even the city, we would have been screwed. But Jeez, man. That was actually so insane. That was cool. Like, I can't believe that. What are these guys doing on Labor Day? I actually want to be home, to be honest. Yeah, they're like, we're not trying to bust some kids having fun with their toys. They literally said, we'll change a lot for you. Oh, you guys are lucky. I would have been, oh, this is maybe like, state rep, um, 30 day hold on your car, license taken away, oh, spend a, a week in jail probably. Week in jail? Yeah, they, they do it. They have a law now that they have, uh, if you get caught doing like side shows or like drifting, it's like three months in jail. Is that in Cali? in Cali? Oh my gosh. So don't go to Cali. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I'm no. mad. 
Sideshows are stupid. Yeah, side yes. Shows, yes. Side yes. Side shows are stupid. This, yeah. we're just hanging out, man. Yeah, this is a bunch of. We have spotters friends. making sure cars aren't coming. Yeah. Yeah. Sideshow kids ruined everything for all the drifters. Yeah. yeah. We're, not, we're not allowed to do anything anymore. We can't even drive our cars on the road anymore. Yeah. That's why I really want to show them something like this, so you know, it's because like it's honestly a different world what we're used to, you know. And it is out there. It's you know, it's just such a shame. You can have a really nice weather, really nice cars, no rust, but unfortunately, you can't yeah. really no drive. No culture. Them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, their culture was so strong, but it you know, was. it's just like how it's progressing. It's you know, uh, well, the side shows and everything. It's not good. Nowadays is going up in the mountains now but even yeah. that it's scary because if you go by yourself you're fucked and you crash that's and, like, so true yeah. you need spawners yeah we got like, every time we go out to drift out there in the, in the mountains we got like five different people if you're and smart and you're safe there. and you're not on the roadway <laughs> they can't say a lot yeah. you just need to be safe yeah i feel like there's like rules you know like brakes you know noise checks i think that stuff really accounts like heavily into this stuff, you know, so. Definitely. This is all about honestly being safe. Like, I mean, we're out here. Like, it is drifting, but yeah, in a yeah. safe way. You know, yeah, we're smart I mean, about it. We don't have anything like, else, to be honest, so. Yeah. Yeah, we do have a track, I mean, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of more fun on the street, I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Keep it fun, that's all it really is. Keep it fun and keep it safe. Keep the innocent people safe is really what it comes down to. Keep it SR20. Keep them SRs alive. Gotta keep them running somehow. Put them to use. Pet your SR daily. Good motor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that cop over. <laughs> no, <laughs> same. That was insane. He, dude, for, like, for giggles, he literally was just like, I'm gonna make this dude pop his hood. And he was like, he got small parts. Yeah. Like, like, no way. 